What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new banger SML reaction video for you guys today. This one dropped 15 minutes ago, and it is called SML Movie The Rigged Game. I think they're talking about a football game from what I've seen in the thumbnail, and we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this. As always, the original video will be in the description down below while you guys are down there. If you'd like to follow me on my other channel, I am posting a video over there tonight after this one so i would appreciate the support man and also make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on that way you do not miss any of the uploads baby and without further ado let's check out who rigged this motherfucking game let's get it i've never seen a shark toy like that ever <laughs> that's different stop it if you don't have to shark that's different that's different don't have to I'm gonna break the damn thing. Jeffy always being annoying. Calm your ass. Go sit your ass down somewhere. If Jeffy was my son, I'm on his ass. I'm gonna get the belt. I'm gonna get the switch. That's what happened to me growing up. <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> Wait, isn't Tom Brady retired? <laughs> yep, that's me. What are you doing here, Tom Brady? I'm pissed. Let me inside. The 49ers did beat the Packers, though, didn't they? Tom Brady, angry. Mm, mm. Why are you so mad, Tom Brady? Well, didn't you see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Philadelphia Eagles in the playoffs? I'm sad 49ers and uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, and they did it without me. The first year after I retired, they beat the team that went to the Super Bowl last year, and I couldn't even meet the goddamn Cowboys. That is true. <laughs> yeah, and if they beat the Detroit Lions tonight, they can hey, they, the speaking of the Cowboys, hey, Cowboys went out sad. I don't even watch NFL. I'm an NBA head. I watch basketball every day. Bruh, the Cowboys went outside, okay? How about them Cowboys? The first year after I stopped playing football, I'm gonna look like a bum. Yeah, you would look like a bum because if they made it- Tom Brady, you played for 50 years, bro. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that means you're old. Yeah. That means you're a scrub. Marvin has no <laughs> IQ about anything football. Sabotage the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What, sabotage the Buccaneers? How would I even do that? Well, normally I would do it because I'm really good at cheating. Like, normally I like to deflate the football. Yeah, well, I was just about to bring it up. The deflated footballs, we ain't never gonna forget. <laughs> record the other team's practices or sleep with the other <laughs> Players, wives, but I don't want to hey, yo. again, so that's why you have to do it. Okay, but how would I even do that? I don't know. Find a friend, figure it out. Well, what would I even get out of doing this for you? Well, if you do it for me, I'll give you one of my Super Bowl rings. Ooh, look at that shot. Bruh, no, no, Tom. It's Tom Brady, nigga. I better get a million if you want me to re if you want me to rig the football game for the playoffs. I better get a mil at least. Non-negotiable. Really shiny, but how much is it worth? Well, you could auction this off for like a million dollars. A million dollars. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't auctioning. I need one million wired into my account. Okay, I'm gonna go make out with my son on a yacht so I have an Oh my God, chill. I always did hear about stories. Well, I seen a video of him kissing his son on the lips and shit. Hey, yo. Okay, <laughs> I would never. Hey, Marvin, you call me over to watch the playoffs? No <laughs> of course, Brooklyn guy got a beer. Hey, did you know they named after it the is Sunday football. Of Silence of the Lambs? I think they're named after the animal. Oh, but the Baltimore Ravens are named after that Edgar Allan Poe poem. Why can't they be named after a serial killer? That's cooler. I don't know and I don't <laughs> care. I didn't call you over to watch the playoffs. Oh, well, what else is going on? Is right, we watching basketball. The fuck? I don't give a fuck Brady, about no NFL Brady, playoffs. Brady, he wants us to sabotage the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they keep winning without him. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. It's almost like they never even needed him. Exactly. He said if they keep winning, he's gonna look like a bum look yeah, at Jeff. what is jeffy i just realized what jeffy is doing in the background look at his face so and shit, bro. So he's he twitching his ear and shit like he a damn dunk or something their plays. but the game's tonight there's no more practices <laughs> oh well he said we could deflate the buccaneers footballs but i think deflating the footballs actually helps the team win well we don't i was thinking the same lose. shit you know how to make them lose there's only one man i know that knows how to make a florida team lose in the playoffs and that's jimmy butler from the miami heat he knows how to lose <laughs> does he know how to lose he loves losing he's a pro at losing bro See, Okay, we we not gonna tolerate the Jimmy Butler disrespect. He's not even my favorite player. I'm a Kevin Durant fan, but Jimmy Butler is him. Okay, he literally carried the Miami Heat to the finals last year. They were not expected to beat the they were not expected to beat the Bucks for sure, and he exposed them niggas four and one. They were not expected to beat the uh, Celtics. The only team that they were expected to beat was the Knicks. Other than that, not definitely not the Nuggets. That's why the Nuggets won four and one. 
He has Jimmy Butler made he, when he makes coffee. Bro, he went crazy last year. Shots, Cuz the only shots he wants to make are shots of espresso. He likes coffee? Oh, he loves coffee. He loves <laughs> coffee more than basketball. It's almost Brooklyn like guys an idiot. <laughs> millions of dollars. You talk I'm a whole bad watching this. So listen to Brooklyn guys say this shit is agitating me right now, okay? Or McDonald's or all of the other places that make coffee. See, he's trying to invent something that already exists. He's trying to invent the iPhone while he should be playing fucking basketball. Well, can we call that reference was fucking horrible. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> Literally. Lying. He's busy making 60 fucking country music songs, Jimmy. What are he you is doing? He Just is dropping a country album, though. No. What he wants you to do? Are you tired of basketball? Do you not want to play basketball anymore? That's okay. What's wrong with athletes venturing out and doing other things with their money, bro? Basketball. He just wants to play with his horses. But you know what he does? He wins basketball games before he plays with his horses. Why can't you win basketball <laughs> games before making your fucking coffee, Jimmy? This man's out here doing all the 2K side quests. He's I ain't gonna lie. This season, Jimmy Butler has been, like, non-existent. Like, he's been... He j he's barely played this year, which is crazy. After they just went to the finals last year. From State Farm, and he's probably gonna start skateboarding. He's mad as hell they didn't so get he uh, Damian Lillard, no, for no, sure. he's busy doing everything but basketball. Well, how can we stop the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from winning? Well, I have an idea. How about I sneak into their locker room and steal some of their equipment, and then we mess with it so that they play bad? How are we gonna get into the Buccaneers locker room? <laughs> oh, I've worked everywhere at some point or another. I'm pretty sure... And what equipment are you going to steal stuff. to make them okay, play bad? Yeah. All right, Marvin, I found some cool shit. <laughs> well, you did get some good stuff. Yeah, I, get Mike I don't think jersey. I don't they think a jersey, a helmet, and a, and a football is going to make them play bad. The important players, Marvin, Mike Evans is the most important receiver they have. If he can't catch balls, there's no way they're going to win. <laughs> and the hanger is broken. <laughs> and mess with him by taking his jersey. Well, I was thinking we could take this skunk I found outside and make him spray his ass juice all over the jersey. <laughs> that way he'll be so stinky he can't focus on the game. Everybody, where you can smell a skunk yeah, from inside the scary. house and the skunk yeah. is outside across the street like that's how strong oh my <laughs> there's no way you're gonna be able to do this and keep a straight face while Let's doing so Oh, yeah, that is disgusting. Yeah, there's no way he's going to catch ball smell like that. So what are we hey, do yo. Well, I was thinking we could put some lice in there so that he's scratching his head and he forgets the plays and he gets sacked. Yeah, there's no way he can... Is Mike Evans white? I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, so where are we going to get lice at? Hmm. You know, black well, people can't get lice. a dirty kindergartner who doesn't bathe. All right, Marvin, I found a kid that says he has lice. I got little bugs in my hand. Okay, kid, take it off into that helmet. Ah! Oh, man, oh, no. uh, <laughs> little crazy ass. Yeah, okay, kid, you can scram. He's been itching his head the whole game. He's gonna forget his plays. Yeah, exactly. And then Mike Evans not gonna be able to catch with his jersey smelling that bad. Oh, I have an idea to make sure he definitely doesn't catch. Notice how Jeffy hasn't even Evans reacted to the skunk smell or anything. So I was thinking I could rub this Butterfingers on there to give him Butterfinger so he drops the ball. <laughs> That's not how it fucking works, works bro. Butter on it because Butterfingers aren't that slippery. Oh yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's more like so it, or just put some oil on that shit. Catching a ball with that on your gloves. <laughs> yeah, there's no way he's gonna catch it with butter. Yeah. So we, we should do something to the actual ball just in case. Ooh, I have an idea. <laughs> okay, Marvin, I got these magnets, and I'm gonna put one of them inside the ball, and then I'm gonna have somebody else in the stands with the other magnet. So whenever they throw the ball, it gets pulled out of bounds like this. See? If you have oh, a magnet that, that is work. that powerful, yeah. so I'm put this in the ball, then take all this stuff back to the Buccaneers locker room. Okay, go, 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 go. The military oh, gonna want to have a conversation with you. What? That Wait, can be used lice? as a weapon. Yeah, that kid had a lot of lice on his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was returning this stuff to the Buccaneers locker room, I saw that the Detroit Lions locker room was open, and I found their best player's jersey, Donovan Peoples Jones. Donovan Peoples Jones? Yeah, he should run for president because he's is that his real name? Jones. He's the Peoples Jones, and that's even better than Osmosis Jones. Is Donovan Peoples Jones good? Oh my gosh, Osmosis. Osmosis Jones, they throwing back classics. I'm a 90s baby. Osmosis Jones damn near came out in the late 90s or very beginning of the 2000s. Jesus. Is he good? He's their best player. His touchdown if I'm not mistaken. goes crazy. It's here's the church, here's the steeple, look inside, here's the people's Jones. But I was thinking I could take this <laughs> needle full of steroids and put it in the jersey. So whenever he wears it, it stabs him and injects him with steroids and he's going to go crazy out there. He's going to get 400 <laughs> yards and eight tutties in the first quarter. I mean, yeah, he's going to be suspended for the rest of his career, but we only need him to win this game. Okay, well, if he's good, why do you even have to do that? Well, I mean, he doesn't Right. Need it, but I mean, it couldn't <laughs> hurt, right? So let me just put this in there, and then I'll return this back to the locker room. Marvin, Marvin, when I was returning Donovan Peoples Jones's jersey, I saw the Buccaneers Gatorade cart, and I took it. I took their Gatorade, Marvin, and I was thinking we could take this laxative and put it in their Gatorade. So now that is shit, actually they... a good idea. That that now this right here, this would be the best sabotage plan that he's had so far. I've had laxative prank done on me before, and I've done laxative pranks on people.
it ain't fun. <laughs> it's fun to watch, but it ain't it ain't fun to you know it ain't, it ain't fun to do that shit. How are you going in and out of the Detroit Lions Stadium so easily, Marvin? It's Detroit. There is no security. Okay, but we live in Florida. How are you going to Florida and Detroit back and forth so fast? Well, right. Marvin, that's why it's a YouTube video. I don't know. I got like a teleportation device up my ass or something. Who cares? Just something in the Gatorade. Okay. Marvin, Marvin, look, look who I found. <laughs> That's Steve Stalberger. Locker room. Wait, what? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, I found this ref who's officiating the game, and I brought him back here to talk to him. <laughs> okay, so what do you need from me? Well, we were wondering if maybe you could rig the game to make sure the Buccaneers lose. Hell no! I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna compromise the integrity of the NFL. Oh come on, man! <laughs> just to help Tom Brady. Do you know how many times I helped him throughout his career? Do you have any idea how? Many I was just about I to say that shit. Games? Well, can't you just do it one more time? Hell no! He's retired! And besides, a lot of people are betting a lot of money on this game. Oh my god, you're right. We should bet on this game. Marvin, how much are you getting for helping Tom Brady? Only a million dollars if the Buccaneers lose. Okay, we're gonna give you a million dollars if you help us rig the game. Well, shit, I guess I can try. No, 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 no don't give him my million dollars. I only have a million dollars. Marvin, don't worry. If we bet on the Buccaneers to lose, you'll probably make like two million dollars. That's a million for him and a million for you. We shouldn't bet money that I don't even have yet. Don't worry about it, Marvin. I know the perfect casino for betting money you don't have. Come on. Wait, what? what casino, <laughs> Imagine if there really was a casino that you can walk in and bet money without having the money right on hand. Ain't no fucking way they would ever allow that shit. Marvin, you're not allowed to gamble here. You don't have any money. Oh, you don't have money because we're going to bet a million dollars that the Buccaneers are going to lose. Well, the Detroit Lions are favored by six and a half. So if you make a million dollar bet, that's only going to pay 300 grand. Shit. Well, Marvin, I guess we can't pay off that referee. Well, we didn't have a million dollars anyway. Wait, you guys were going to bet on a rigged game with money you don't have? We were trying to, yes. <laughs> Why are you not Mr. <laughs> because I rigged it. How? Don't worry about it, okay? Just trust me that the Buccaneers are going to have lice, they're going to shit their pants, and they're going to be stinky. Okay, <laughs> well, if the Buccaneers end up losing this game, then I'll give you guys $5 million because I'm going to bet all my money on it. Oh, they're definitely going to lose. We can't guarantee that. We can't guarantee it, Marvin. I pissed in their Gatorade. <laughs> but you put Miralox in it. Now, Marvin, why do you think it was yellow? It was clear when I got it, and then I pissed into it. Okay, Brooklyn guys just ruined the fucking plan. You were supposed to put the laxatives inside of the Gatorades, bro. All you did was pee in it? That ain't finna change okay, nothing. I guess they're gonna lose, but we have to do something else to guarantee they're gonna lose. Don't worry, Marvin. I have a plan to make <laughs> sure the Lions win. Listen, if the Buccaneers don't lose this game, I'm gonna cut off your ball sack, put them in a blender, and make a ball sack margarita. Okay, deal. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> don't Wait, ever. <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. I had to stop by the zoo and steal this lion. Why did you steal a lion? <laughs> what what kind of roar was that, lion? bro? Why did you steal a lion? I got another genius idea. Yeah, Marvin. Okay, guess what the Detroit Lions mascot is? A lion. It's a lion. You know, because of the Detroit Lions? <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so get this. I snuck into his enclosure dressed up like a Buccaneers player and I stole all his food. And then when he tried to attack me, I tranquilized him with a tranquilizer dart. But I was staring him <laughs> in the eyes the entire time. So when he wakes up, he's going to be really pissed at the Buccaneers. So I was thinking I could sneak onto the field and replace their mascot with him. So when he wakes up, he starts attacking Buccaneers players. What if he attacks Lions? That's going to ruin the, that's going to end the game. Lions, on the national Lions television. Look like lions. <laughs> yeah, but they have lions on their helmets. Look, he'll understand, okay? Don't worry about it. Look, how are you going to get a lion under the football field? It's Brooklyn guy so dumb. I would never, bro. I would never trust Brooklyn guy with any kind of a plan. I, nothing, bro. Oh, yeah, well, he's named Gumball because this one time this kid dropped a gumball into his I think Jeffrey's smarter than him, and it's crazy that this entire yeah, episode, Jeffrey's just been sitting here watching. Tragedy. Come on, Gumball. Okay, Marvin, I think we've done everything humanly possible to fuck this game up for the Buccaneers. They're definitely going to lose. So now let's just sit back and watch an absolute ass pounding. Hold on, let me go hey, yo. my and I'll show you my favorite website. No, no, no I, I meant the football game, but, but later though. <laughs> See, Marvin, I told you the Buccaneers were shitting their pants and Bakey McFuckballs was scratching his head the whole game. He didn't know what was going on. I didn't see our lion, though. He must have gotten loose somewhere. But I mean, hey, that's Detroit. That happens all the time, right? I can't believe you guys were actually right. So we get five million dollars? No, I didn't make the bet because I didn't believe you. Not to mention you didn't even give me a million dollars to bet. That's fair. Wow, you guys actually did it. You made me look good. So I get a Super Bowl <laughs> ring? Well, no, because I actually played a Super Bowl to get that ring. But I'll kiss you on the mouth, though. I'll take that. Oh, hey, oh my God, Brooklyn guy, chill. Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, wait, what? what? <laughs> These niggas zesty. The Timmy, <laughs> Timmy and Cody are rough being off on everybody on that SML crew. Okay, hold up. But look, I'm not gonna lie. 
Tom Brady, I already not a big fan of you anyway, but uh, you you would have to catch this motherfucking fade if I didn't get that million after rigging the football game. I promise on everything I love. But hey, the original video always be in the description down below while you guys are down there. If you like to follow me on my other channel, I am posting a video over there after this one. I will greatly appreciate the support. Thank you guys for everything, man. Love y'all, and I will see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.